Hey guys, Dutton up here. With all those wood chips out in the field that we got to get moved around and grass growing up about, oh, I don't know, four feet tall in some spots, we decided to get a new shiny. Look at that. It is the Pro Series Yard Tractor 8200 from Sears Craftsman. This thing's got like a five inch turning radius, like from the back wheels. This is basically a Husqvarna tractor with a Kohler engine and then we opted for the front scoop because it would have cost about $300 a day or so to rent a Bobcat to go take care of all those. So $450 for the extra scoop. Uh, yeah, we decided to do that. Well, let's go play with it. We reclaimed a lot of property out here that I really thought was just kind of going to be brushed and gone for a long time. But we were able to get through it. There's still a couple rocks in there and a couple bushes that we can't get to right now. And uh, we still have all of this over here to look through. Then we'll take it out and try it on some wood chips. some issues with our little scoop thing here. First issue we're having is that when we pull the lever to uh, move this pin, it doesn't plant exactly where it's supposed to go. This is supposed to go into there. Now I've adjusted this a few times and it just keeps getting loose again. So that's kind of an issue because that controls if this thing dumps or not. The next issue we're having is the clearance of the deck. So we can scoop some in, and this is all we can scoop of like the wood chips with this push back as far as it'll go. Now go ahead and baby girl pull that down and squeeze the lever and lock it in. Good, let go. Nope, do it again. There we go. This is the clearance that we get. It's about three, maybe four inches, but I think more closer to three. Let's see, one, two, yeah. It's probably closer to three inches left. So this is the best scoop that we can get of wood chips with this scoop. Now, when we go bouncing down the pasture, all of these wood chips fall out. So this really needs to be angled more like this. And I would like to have this come up, say about to here or so, so we don't lose the little bit of wood chips that we get in there. Now, when we go to drop this over in the area where we're putting wood chips, go ahead and pull it down. That is what happens. So that's about as much of it as we can get out. Maybe jiggle the other one over there. Um, like push it all the way down so that's what is like when we try to get the wood chips out um, push this one all the way all the way up or out down and this will eventually go like that but it digs down into the dirt behind it so this is just way too low way too low so it's gonna go back and we'll get something that maybe works better. Maybe just like something we can push like a dozer blade that we just ram this, these piles with and just kind of grade it out. Yep, so let's go look at all the other cool stuff that we did. We were able to borrow the neighbor's cart and hook it up to the lawn tractor here and load it up with wood chips using the snow shovels and bring it over here and dump the cart into this area. 
So we have a nice little start to cover our sandy entrance. That is probably, what, a six inches to a foot deep in spots. And it's still a little boggy, but I can drive uh, the tractor through it without getting stuck now. So I think once it gets wetted down a little bit, we might be able to uh, have the big trucks be able to run through here without getting stuck again. I think that's why they stopped dropping off some of the wood chips. It's been about a week since we mowed last. Tomorrow we're going to mow, but I just wanted to show you guys how much of this we reclaimed all the way back there by where it's all brown right now because it gets no water. We're going to fix that with sprinklers. But we can go all the way to the road on that. Now there's only a couple of those bushes left. We got all of this. And it's getting all green now because of the sprinklers. All of that's back. Very excited. We have our little road here. With all, see this is pretty much what it was. All this just sand. And it was just, the trucks were digging into it. So we're filling this up as much as we can. A little road. How much of the pasture we got back? I have to go through all of this and see if there's any rocks bigger than what, like three inches high in any of that before I run the blades through it. But all of this, we've kind of gone through and made sure that no big rocks are gonna hit the blades or either that or the blade uh, rocks are big enough that, well, the bumper will <laughs> hit. Uh, let's see how much of the backyard we reclaimed. This is the exciting part. I'm gonna put some video up here from when we were doing the appraisal of you from up on top of the roof. And now, look at this. Mowed through most of this. There's one rock here that I just can't get around or past, but I might try to move it later on in life. But it's not today. There's a couple pieces of trash we found in there. But all of this is back now. So this is where we're gonna run the chickens, do a chicken coop from like there to here and one from there to there and have it all come out over this area. Let them just go buck wild out here. So we got all of that back. Very excited. Uh, that tractor is a tank. It just goes through whatever. It's awesome. This is all brushed about five, six, seven foot tall in spots. And it just mulched it all up. You can see little pieces of it left. I like this. That was all tumbleweeds and whatnot. Very cool. So they just came out and picked up that scoop, which is good because that's 450 bucks we're going to get back onto the account. And the other day when I was at Sears in the clearance section, I saw a snow uh, plow that goes on the front there. And it was clearance way down to like 100 bucks or something. So we picked that up and that should be able to do pretty much the same thing that the scoop was doing for us, just kind of pushing stuff around. Plus I got some uh, tire chains for the back there and that will help us out if I ever want to snow plow the road. Which it doesn't really snow that much out here. So I probably won't ever have to do that. But it might help me with some traction out there. That would be kind of cool. Well, that's all I have for this video. As always, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Check us out on the website. And we'll see you guys on the next one.